In this course, we provide a simple tutorial for Langchain. Langchain is an open source framework which allows you to build AI applications using large language models or LLMs. For example, you can easily build a chatbot like ChatGPT using this framework. Langchain consists of several important components. In this course, we explain its top four components with a set of sample Python codes. For simplicity, we run our codes in Google Collab, but you can run them in Python as well. In particular, we use an open source LLM model in our examples so that you can test the codes for free without buying any API key. We present our course in four parts to cover the most important concepts in Langchain. In the first part, we will talk about prompts and prompt templates in Langchain. The second part deals with the memory system in Langchain. In the third part, we talk about the RAG framework or retrieval augmented generation which allows us to connect an external data source to our large language model or LLM. Finally, in the last part, we will talk about agents and their applications in Langchain. Let's now start our course by explaining each of these four parts in detail. The first topic is about prompts and prompt templates. A prompt is a simple text query or question that we pass it to our LLM to get a relevant response from it. As an alternative, we can use a prompt template to make a prompt based on dynamic inputs. A prompt template is a text, but it can have dynamic variables in it. In this example, city is a dynamic variable in our template as we put it in curly brackets. To make our dynamic prompt using this template, we use the prompt template class and pass our template and a list of our input variables to it. We now write a simple code to show the concept of prompt templates. We write our codes in Google Collab. First, open a new notebook and choose a name for it. Then from the runtime menu, change the runtime type to use a GPU. The next step is to install Langchain using pip, which can be done by this line. This may take a few seconds or a minute. We then import three modules from Langchain by which we can write our code. These modules are Hugging Face Hub, prompt template, and LLM chain. We next need to define our large language model or LLM. Langchain supports various LLMs such as the GPT model from OpenAI. If you have an OpenAI API key, you can use the code in this cell to define our LLM. We here import the OpenAI module and pass our API key and another input parameter called temperature. If you set the temperature value to zero, you get less random outputs. You can also define a specific model from OpenAI to load, such as GPT 3.5, but we here assume that you don't have an API key for OpenAI. As an alternative, you can use open source LLMs such as Falcon, which is a free yet powerful LLM. To load the Falcon model, we use this repo from Hugging Face. You can simply copy the address of this repo and use it in your code. Here the repo ID is the address of the copied repo which specifies a 7 billion parameter Falcon model, which is fine-tuned on a mixture of chat and instruct datasets. We also need to get a free access token for Hugging Face. Simply go to the settings of your Hugging Face account and get an access token from there and put it here. Make sure to get a new access token as the token used in this code will not be available anymore by the time you are watching this video. We now load the model from Hugging Face Hub by passing our access token and repo ID. We also specify the temperature value and another input parameters to specify the maximum number of tokens in the output response of the model. By running this part, we get our LLM model ready. The next step is to make our prompt. For this purpose, we use a prompt template that is two parts, a question and an answer. We here put a variable in curly brackets which acts as a placeholder for our variable. We will set its value when passing our input query. We also instruct the model on how to answer our questions. We then use prompt template to make our prompt using our defined template. We also pass the name of all variables of our template as a list to it. If you have more than one variable, simply put their name in this list. The next step is to build our LLM chain using our prompt and our defined LLM. By running this line of the code, our chain is built and it becomes ready to be used or invoked. We can invoke the chain by passing our input question to it using the invoke function of the chain. Note that the value of our question variable in our template is set by our past question. By running this code, we get an output response from our LLM, which is a dictionary. To get the output text, we can print the text key of the output variable. Here we asked how to make a cupcake, and here is the detailed response. 
In fact, you control the behavior of the LLM by changing either the input prompt or its input variable. For example, by increasing the temperature value, you can get more diverse outputs. Also, you can reduce or increase the number of tokens in the output. The other option is to modify the prompt. For example, you can instruct the model to give you shorter answers. This was the first part of our tutorial. We are now going to present the next part of our tutorial. In the next part, we talk about the memory system of LangChain. To build a chatbot and have a conversation with it, the chatbot needs to access to the previous chat history or conversation so that it can generate more relevant responses. This can be done by storing the previous model responses in a memory and including them in the new prompt for the next user queries. Using this approach, the previous chat history can be used as a context for the new prompt and the LLM model can generate more relevant responses. This process can be implemented either manually or through a LangChain memory class. In fact, in the latest versions of LangChain, we can specify a memory object when defining our LLM chain. This memory object can be created by a class called Conversation Buffer Memory, which has an input parameter called Memory Key. The memory key is actually a memory variable that stores the chat history. You can use any arbitrary name for it. We then create a prompt template and include this variable in it and guides the LLM model to consider it as the previous conversation. Whenever the LLM model generates a new response, the response is automatically appended to our chat history by this class. In fact, this memory class simplifies the process for using memory in LangChain. Let's now see how we can use this class in practice by writing a simple code. For this purpose, we first need to import the conversation buffer memory class from the memory section of LangChain. We also import chat prompt template, message placeholder, system message prompt template, and human message prompt template. We then define our prompt template using an input message which consists of three parts. The first part specifies the role of the chatbot using a system message. Using this part, we instruct the chatbot to have a conversation with a human in a nice manner. We then include our memory variable or chat history using a message placeholder. Whenever we ask a new question from our chatbot, our previous chat history is replaced by this placeholder automatically. We then include our input question as a dynamic variable using a human message. So whenever we ask a new question, our question is replaced by this dynamic placeholder to compose our input prompt. Finally, we define our memory object by the conversation buffer memory class. As we discussed earlier, the name of the memory key must match the variable name in the prompt template. If you set the return messages to true, whenever you ask a question, the previous chat history is also displayed in the output. Finally, we define our conversation chain and specify our LLM, our prompt, and our memory object as the input arguments of the chain. Let's execute this part of the code. We now run our chain by passing an input question to it. First, let's tell the chatbot that today is Monday. The chatbot prints a welcome message and asks us what it can assist us today. This message is stored in chat history. Now let's ask it what day is tomorrow and see the result. As you can see, the chatbot answers correctly as it has now access to our chat history. This was a simple introduction to the memory system in LangChain. In the third part of our tutorial, we talk about the RAG framework. But first, let's see what RAG means and what is its application. When we ask a question or query from an LLM model, the LLM model can answer our question based on what it has been trained on. But what if we have an external source of data like our own private text file, and we want to ask a question from our own data? RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation allows us to do so. Using it, we can connect our external source of data to an LLM model so that the model can answer our specific questions. In fact, using RAG, a context information can be produced for the LLM model from our data. RAG works as follows. Our data source, like a PDF file, is first tokenized and passed to an embedding model to get a numeral representation of our data. The embeddings are then stored in a database called VectorStore. The input query is also embedded similarly. The generated embeddings are then passed to a retriever. The retriever performs a similarity search in the database to find the most relevant information to the input query. This generates our context information. 
A prompt is then generated using the input query and the context information. The prompt is then passed to the LLM model to get its response. Using this framework, we can connect our external data source to our LLM to expand its knowledge. This allows us to ask specific or custom questions from our LLM model using our own data. We now write a simple code to show the concept of RAG and LangChain. First, we install some required packages. These include LangChain, Sentence Transformers, Face GPU, and PyPDF. Using the PyPDF library, we can load a PDF file in Python. This may take a few seconds to execute. The next step is to import some modules from LangChain. These include Character Text Splitter, PyPDF Loader, Face, and Hugging Face Embedding. Using PyPDF Loader, we load a PDF and split it into documents by the text splitter. Face is a vector store or a database in LangChain that can store the embeddings of our documents. To convert documents into embeddings, we use Hugging Face Embeddings. Other options are Open AI Embeddings. However, since we here use an open source model from Hugging Face, we use Hugging Face Embeddings. If you use a model from OpenAI, then you need to use OpenAI Embedding. We now upload our PDF to Google Collab and load it using PyPDF. In this example, our PDF contains some general information about LangChain, and we want to ask some questions from it using our chatbot. LangChain supports various data sources such as text files, Excel sheets, SQL databases, web addresses, or even videos. If you want to load a text file, you can use this command instead. Please refer to the LangChain website to find other available data loaders. The next step is to load our PDF. We then create our text splitter by which we can split our loaded document into several chunks. We can specify the size of the chunks in terms of characters and even their overlap. After creating our text splitter, we pass our documents to it to get the output chunks. This splitting is required as the maximum length of the input text to LLMs is limited. After this step, we need to convert our chunks into embeddings. The embedding can be done by the Hugging Face Embeddings module. In fact, these embeddings can be considered as a numeral representation of the generated chunks. We now create our vector store or database to store the generated embeddings in it. We here use the Face module, which is a vector store in LangChain. We pass our chunks in the embedding module to create a database from them. The database now contains the data in our PDF. Let's now define our LLM. Similar to other examples in this tutorial, we again use the 7 billion parameter Falcon model from this repo from Hugging Face. We then specify our Hugging Face access token, repo ID, and some control parameters, such as the temperature and maximum number of tokens in the output message. This builds our LLM. You can control the temperature value to control the diversity in the outputs of the LLM. The last step is to create our RAG or retrieval chain. Specifically, we import the retrieval QA module and the retriever class from Lank Chain. The Retrieval QA class allows us to retrieve the most relevant information to our input query from our database. Using Retriever, we can define our database as a retriever to fetch relevant information and pass it to our chain as a context for the LLM. The Retrieval QA has three input arguments, our LLM model, a chain type, and our defined retriever. Using this chain, we can connect our LLM with our PDF through the retriever. After building the chain, we can invoke our chain by passing an input question to it. The retriever searches the database and find the most relevant chunks to our question and pass them to the LLM model to get the output response. We now ask a question from our PDF. Let's see the result. The response is October 2022. Now let's check the answer in the PDF. As you can see, the response is correct. In the last part of our course, we talk about agents and tools in Link Chain. By using linked chain agents, we can do a specific task or take an action based on either the input query or the output response of our LLM. For instance, we can do a web search to collect some up-to-date information about the input query and pass it to the LLM model as a context information. An agent can use one or more tools to do its task. Langchain supports a lot of different tools such as Google Search, Python Code, Terminal Script, and may more. All of such tools get an input query, performs a task, and returns an output text. The obtained text is then used by the LLM model to answer the input query. As an example, let's write a code to ask questions related to the weather of a city. We first install length chain and a package called Google Search Results. We then define our LLM model similar to our previous examples in this course. 
We again use the 7 billion parameter Falcon model from Hugging Face to define our LLM. Again, make sure to use your own free Hugging Face access token here. After defining our LLM, we import two modules from Lightchain. The first one is Load Tools, and the next one is Initialize Agent. In this example, we use a tool called SERP API, which can be used for a Google search. We then define a list of our tools to be used by our agent. We here use only one tool, which is SERP API. To use this tool, we need to get a free API key from the SERP API website. After getting the API key, define it as an environment variable so that we can use it. So first, go to the SERP API website, create an account, and get a free API key. The next step is to load the defined tools. We then initialize our agent using the loaded tools and our defined LLM. We also need to specify an agent type. For many applications, you can use the zero-shot React description as the agent type. Finally, we run our agent by passing our input query to the run function of the agent. The agent then invokes the defined tools and gets their output text. The text is then passed to the LLM model to answer our question. As you can see without agents and tools, our LLM could not be able to answer such questions. You can also make custom tools in Lake Chain. We have another video about this in our channel. So please refer to it for more information. This was a crash course on Lang Chain. Hope you liked it.